Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So we've gone through a few glitches uh, using gift cards to friends. It's just unfortunate that on PC we are unable to do those solo right now. But at least um, this works, just that you will need a friend. So in today's video, I will be still using the gift cards to friends glitch. And I will be showing you how to duplicate this vehicle. Now that's the arena war you see. Now there's a good reason why we actually just use this vehicle or even the LG Retro Custom. Because you try this uh, duplication glitch with any other vehicle and if you intend to sell them, you will be disappointed. So today I'll be showing you how to duplicate this vehicle and then I'm going to show you what it sells for. So right now I'm already glitched out for gift cards to friends. So if you're not, please refer to the video in the description and glitch yourselves out before you carry on. And of course, you will need a friend with that vehicle to give you. Now, the first thing that you'll do is to pull up your phone, call your mechanic, and get your mechanic to deliver a free allergy. It can be from any garage, it doesn't matter. So you can choose it from any garage that you already have. So while waiting for that free allergy to arrive, do drop a quick like for the video and subscribe to the channel. And that will help the channel grow and help me to provide you with more content. The channel has had quite a fair bit of support and it's growing slowly and hopefully with your help we can keep it that way and i truly appreciate all the support that has come in so far as well as all the comments so please do keep them coming as i always love to hear from you guys and i will answer each and every question as best i can and as much as possible so with that being said let's get back to the glitch and hopefully our allergy has already arrived so there it is so what you want to do from here is to get into the allergy and park it right behind your friend's car. It doesn't have to be exact, just leave it there so that it's more convenient. Now what you're going to want to do next is to come to this spot, open up your interaction menu, and then call for your MOC. Now the reason why we do this is because we want the MOC to spawn exactly in that little lane back there. And when you call out your MOC from that spot, it will almost definitely spawn here. So the next thing is to get into your car, Get your friend to go into the car as well and your friend should go into the pause menu and stay there. The next thing you want to do is to drive your allergy all the way up here and then try to access your MOC from the back at the blue circle and press E. What this would do would be to kick your friend out simply because he's at the pause menu. Once that is done, just back the allergy up to this distance. Hold Alt and mouse up to get the story mode character screen and then decline it twice. And now you're ready to go into the MOC. Now once at the blue circle, just enter alone and you'll be faced with this black screen with no loading circle. So from here, you just continue to hold Alt and move your mouse up to get the story mode character screen. And there it is. All you have to do now is just to decline the alert and that will put you on the map invisible. So right now you only have to enter your friend's vehicle and you will spawn with the vehicle inside your MOC. Now before you drive this vehicle out, get your friend to return their personal vehicle to storage so you don't get two vehicles of the same type and same license plate on the map at the same time. So once that is done, just go into your duplicated vehicle and drive out. So if you're outside and the vehicle disappears, don't worry. Just go to your interaction menu and call out your personal vehicle. You can also call it out using the interaction menu and MOC services. So either way will work. It's just that the glitch likes to give you different options every time. So we'll just have to manage this. So all you have to do is just to wait for the vehicle to arrive. And there it is. So what you have to do next is to just get into the vehicle and then make your way to the nearest Los Santos Customs. And that would be your final objective. So the glitch is actually done, you have this vehicle already. I'm just bringing you to Los Santos Customs to show you what can actually happen and how to deal with it. Now once you reach here, you may encounter this error message that you are unable to bring the vehicle in. So sometimes this kind of thing may happen, but what you want to do when you encounter something like this is to just return your vehicle to storage and then call it out again. So I'm just going to move outside here and do that. So some other people have also reported this when they're doing the wheels and liveries using gift cards to friends. And so this is the way to actually deal with it, which is just to return the vehicle to storage and then call it out again. 
If you do encounter a cooldown, just wait for it to pass. And here you see that the vehicle has spawned again, so just get back into the vehicle and head towards Los Santos Customs. So by now you should be able to have the door open for you for access. So once you are in Los Santos Customs, why not just take a look at how much you can sell this for? And that's the final price. Just a point to note, you will only be able to do this in the same session. If you actually choose to save this, the selling price will be different. So in order to achieve this price, you need to sell it within the same session, but please make sure to adhere to the daily selling limits. And that's it for this video. Thank you for staying all the way. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you very soon in the next one.